Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN, which is not only the only VPN to obtain a perfect score from the website PCMag, but it's also what I use myself on a daily basis. Start protecting your internet experience with 66% off a two year plan by using the code sensorgaming at nordvpn.com forward slash sensorgaming today. VPNs keep all of your internet data secure and will also allow you to surf the web as if you were located in different countries around the world. This means that you can bypass any filters or regional restrictions you may encounter counter on the net, as well as ensure your data is always kept safe when browsing sites and using things like public Wi-Fi. NordVPN is also available for mobile, and your account also comes with up to six simultaneous connections at once. Again, NordVPN is offering our viewers 66% off a two-year plan. Just go to nordvpn.com slash sensorgaming or click the link in the description to sign up and start protecting yourself. That's nordvpn.com slash c-e-n-s-o-r-e-d-g-a-m-i-n-g and use the code sensorgaming at checkout and get started today. With the release of Super Mario Party rapidly approaching, Nintendo's new entry in the hit Mario Party series, I always felt as a good time to take a look back at some of the ways the series has been altered in the West when brought over from Japan. To begin, we will take a look at the first entry in the series, Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. The first game has an interesting difference between the music for two of the minigames, these being Balloon Burst and Musical Mushroom. The Japanese and European versions use the track Move to the Mambo for both of these minigames. For some reason though, the US version doesn't feature this track at all and instead uses two different songs. Here's the US track for Musical Mushroom. And here's Balloon Bursts. This wasn't the only change made to the original games though, another curious change can be spotted when either Luigi or Wario loses a minigame. In the original Japanese release, the characters would exclaim, oh my god, upon losing, as shown here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Outside of Japan though, these lines were altered due to concern over the characters making religious references. Interestingly, while many players believe Wario says doll, I missed, this isn't true. He's actually speaking German and says so I missed, which can be roughly translated as old dawn. In 2014, a YouTuber posted a video covering this in hopes of clearing up the confusion, which ended up getting commented on by none other than Thomas Spindler himself, who was Nintendo of Europe's German translator and Wario's voice actor at the time. Spindler stated, to quote, the concept behind Wario was that of a German character and those responsible for the voiceover at Nintendo back then intended him to speak German. I hope this resolves the issue once and for all. Moving on to Mario Party 2, which received its own share of changes as well. For instance, Professor Fungi, known as simply Dr. Toad in Japan, originally smoked a tobacco pipe. Over in the West though, the Professor is always depicted pipeless. A big change was also made to the ending cutscene of Westernland, which featured realistic guns and even showed Bowser getting shot. First up is the Japanese version. The English version turned the guns bright yellow, added harmless corks flying out of them and removed the gunshot sounds and smoke effects. Mario Party 3 faced its own handful of changes too. For example, Donkey Kong's start screen reads Donkey Start in the Japanese version of the game, but this got simplified to DK Start in the overseas releases. Another change was made to the item minigames. If a player fails to win any items, the announcer will say Miss in the Japanese release. On the other hand, the international releases replace this with Game Over. Curiously, the Miss line can still be found within the game's sound room voice test across every version of the game, whereas the Game Over line is nowhere to be found. 
Furthermore, in the European version of Mario Party 3, a couple of minigames, including Baby Bowser Broadside and Puddle Paddle, had their times reduced from 30, as seen in the Japanese and North American versions, to 20. This may seem like an odd change, but this was actually deliberately done due to European copies of the game running at the slower 50Hz rather than 60Hz as was common at the time. In a nutshell, this meant that the European version ran around 17.5% slower than the North American and Japanese versions of the game. Therefore, while the timer may read 20, each minigame's real-time length lasts roughly as long as their North American and Japanese counterparts. Moving on to Mario Party 6, which had an interesting change over in Europe to the game's Endurance Alley. For the European versions, four minigames were removed, these being Pitfall, Same as Lame, Trick or Tree, and Trapeze Artists. This was presumably done in the name of fairness, as each of these minigames are heavily based on luck, and the Endurance Alley challenges players to win 100 minigames in a row. Another change was made to the Garden Grab minigame, which originally had players plucking a giant turnip out of the ground in the Japanese release, whilst the US and European releases changed it into a giant carrot instead. Brighton and Twyla also originally had voice clips in the Japanese version, which were mysteriously removed from the Western releases. On the flip side, in Japan, Mario Party 6 uses the same female announcer featured in all versions of Mario Party 4 and 5. Meanwhile, the international versions introduced a new male one in her place. Listen for yourself. Lastly, let's wrap things up with Mario Party 8, which actually ended up causing quite a stir in the UK. This was due to the fact that upon the game's release in the region on July 13th, 2007, it contained the line, Magic Cooper Magic, turn the train spastic, make this ticket tragic. While this went virtually unnoticed in North America, the term spastic is seen as an offensive slur in the UK, which Damon Rose, editor of the BBC disability website Ouch, called synonymous with useless incompetence, the type you see in disabled people portrayed badly on TV. Nintendo immediately recalled the game that very same day, releasing an official statement saying to quote, Unfortunately, we have discovered that a small number of Mario Party 8 copies contain the wrong version of the disc due to an assembly error. We have therefore decided to recall all copies of the game from UK retailers so that this mistake can be corrected. Ultimately, when the game was re-released in the UK three weeks later, this line was altered to replace spastic with erratic in its place. It's speculated that this event may have led Nintendo of Europe to be more cautious with their European releases. For example, they replaced Croco's mention of the word bugger from Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars with Pest when the game was finally released in Europe via the Wii's virtual console the following year. This was because, again, bugger is seen as an offensive term in the UK. But so that's all we have time for for today. Let us know what you think about these changes in the comments below and please consider subscribing if videos on regional differences like these are something you are interested in. Until next time, thank you for watching.